After that, it got pretty late, and we both had to go, but it was great seeing Annie again. I, I realized what a terrific person she was and, and how much fun it was just knowing her. And I, I thought of that old joke, you know, the, this, this guy goes to a psychiatrist and says, Doc, uh, my brother's crazy. He thinks he's a chicken. And uh, the doctor says, well, why don't you turn him in? And the guy says, I would, but I need the eggs. Well, I guess that's pretty much now how I feel about relationships. You know, they're totally irrational and crazy and absurd. And But uh, I guess we keep going through it because uh, most of us need the eggs. You. If collaboration is a good thing, why are meetings so hard? Why is enthusiasm killed rather than generated? Why does lazy consensus lead to conclusions nobody likes? Good ideas get shot down before they can be explored. Bad ideas survive because no one wants to be mean. Participants itching to speak don't listen to others. To answer, let's think about the different kinds of meeting talk. Edward de Bono has a powerful metaphor of wearing different colored hats when we engage in different kinds of talk. Much of our talk is an expression of emotion. I really like what you said. It worries me that we never talk about the poor. I'm not comfortable with how quantitative this conversation has become. Sometimes these red hat remarks are just spontaneous outbursts, but they function as direction changers, even if that's not what one wants to advocate. Another way to contribute is to offer criticism. Such black hat talk can be gentle. I wonder if that's always the case. So harsh. That would never work. No one would come. Implicit? Uh, we tried something like that last year. More technical. Uh, we'll uh, exceed the budget before October. Criticism is critical, but at the wrong moment, it takes on a little negativity to quash ideas and discourage creativity. Another kind of contribution is just plain information. Sometimes this white hat talk is a response to a question. Amy, uh, how many people did we have at this event last year? 23, I think. Sometimes we're correcting what someone else said. Uh, actually, uh, I think it was Sunday last year. Information talk, in its place, is certainly important. Another type of contribution is to move existing ideas forward. Some of these yellow hat ideas zero in. Everything you've said so far is rooted in the idea that legal work should actually solve the problem. Others identify the value of an idea on the table. One thing that's good about the merger plan is that it ties in with our efficiency conversation. These contributions are, in a sense, opposite of critical. They are generative yes-and comments. And once we get that method in place, we could uh, do a lot of things. Similar, but not quite the same, are contributions that take the conversation in new directions. These green hat contributions are frequent in good brainstorming. Uh, what if we brought in a food truck? Hey, have we ever had a clown give the opening prayer? What if, uh, what if our target tuition were zero? In this mode, contributions can, and sometimes should, be crazy ones that test boundaries. They give the conversation a sense of movement in many directions. No one's slowing down to criticize. We're not stuck on one idea. Your creative ideas motivate mine. At the wrong moment, though, green hat talk is just chaotic. Finally, some comments are just about the process. How much time do we have left? Can we get back to the question we started with? Um, we haven't heard from Amala yet. We need blue hat comments that break frame and keep us on task and on schedule. But the urge to blue hat thinking can distract us as individuals, and ill-timed blue hat comments can crush enthusiasm and stop creativity in its tracks. So where do we go with all this? Simply having a shared awareness of the different types of thinking and talking goes a long way toward improving our capacity as members of collaborative teams. But there's even more to be gained when we coordinate our thinking and talking styles and change our fundamental collaborative regime. One conventional collaboration regime is collaboration as argument. This is the marketplace of ideas notion, where good ideas battle bad ideas. The problem is that it falsely assumes that all ideas are ready for battle. 
And the result is good ideas often get strangled in the crib, yielding mediocre outcomes and unhappy participants. A second regime is collaboration as hug. It's pleasant in every way that collaboration as argument is not. In this nice mode, all ideas are treated as equal. Whims are as valid as analyses. Feeling good about the activity and the process trumps the result. The outcome is often some Frankenstein monstrosity that uses a little bit of everyone's contribution. It makes no sense, but everyone's voice was heard. Parallel thinking is an alternative. Everyone thinks in the same direction, but the direction can be changed. We achieve this by developing an awareness of the six modes of thinking and talking, and then organizing our meetings in terms of, for example, red hat time, white hat time, blue hat time, etc. We consciously switch between the modes, or we preface our contributions. Can I make a Red Hat comment here? Advanced users can channel group creativity with specific sequences. Green plus yellow plus red might be new ideas, extend the ideas, get reactions. Or black plus green might be identify the problems and then throw out new solutions to them. Or green plus yellow plus white plus yellow would be new ideas, extend the ideas, do some research, extend them further. And that's six hats and creative teams.